Hello, I'm Mrs Lanning, the head teacher at St Osmond's Catholic Primary School in Barnes. And today I'm going to read Pirate Pete and His Smelly Feet by Lucy Rowland and Mark Chambers. Old Pirate Pete had the smelliest feet, the cheesiest feet on the sea. Each time he walked by, all his shipmates would cry, What a bad stink, dearie me. The captain and crew didn't know what to do. They liked to keep them tidy and neat. For though they looked mean, they were really quite clean, and they'd all had enough of Pete's feet. They found the big tub, and they gave Pete a scrub, but the water turned murky and black. It didn't take long till they noticed the pong, and they realised the smell had come back. The captain said, Crew, there's just one thing to do. It's time old Pete walked the plank. Pete sniffed, farewell. Then splash, in he fell, and ever so slowly he sank. The seaweed it swirled round Pete's feet as he whirled through the sea with a swoosh and a swish. He turned a bit pink when his terrible stink disturbed all the poor little fish. By the time he found land, Pete was covered in sand. He stomped through the leaves and the dirt. He squelched through some tar and he wandered so far that even his toenails hurt. But then came a yelp, someone calling for help. Old pirate Pete looked around. He heard, help us please, as he looked to the seas. My friends are in trouble, he frowned. And there by the boat, which was barely afloat, were three hungry sharks in a row. The pirates looked pale as they clung to the sail and the shark circled slowly below. Old Pete scratched his head. I must help them, he said. The pirates looked close to defeat. Just then, from the sea, came a strong pong of brie and the captain called out, Look, it's Pete! Pete's feet caked in tar could be smelt from afar but the pirates just shouted, Hooray! as the sharks took one sniff of that terrible whiff and they turned and swam quickly away. Standing slightly upwind, the pirates all grinned, three cheers for Pete's foul-smelling feet. From then on, the crew and the young captain too weren't nearly so clean or so neat. And if the sharks were around, then the crew could be found wafting their toes in the breeze. They'd wink at old Pete as they scrubbed head to feet with handfuls of stinky old cheese. Mm -hmm.